So we just learned how to work with layers a little bit, and there are a couple of other things that we can do with layers that you may find helpful. Now, one of the handy features of layers is uh, that you can actually hide certain layers. Not delete them, but hide them. So let's say, for example, I wanted to hide layer two. What you would do is you you mouse wheel click. There's It turns out that the uh, the the wheel button, the wheel on your mouse will click as a button if you do so. So I mouse, I just mouse wheeled click on layer two and then that hid everything that's in layer two. It's not actually, we haven't deleted layer two, but we've hidden it. So I'm going to, I'm going to unhide it now. And you can try hiding some of these different layers. So that's, that's pretty useful. If you right click over the layer toolbar, there's a couple of handy features to here as well. Sometimes people act, people often do this one by mistake, layer sort by name. So if you see the layers in this kind of order, layer 0, 1, 10, 100, 101, etc., that's probably because you just did accidentally right clicked and sorted by name by accident. That that's pretty common if you did that. So layer sort by number. There's also hide unused layers. This one can be this one can be useful. So you can see I can actually see all my layers that I've used, but all these other ones are grayed out. I'm going to enable all layers to change that back. Now there's also one last little thing that's helpful. That's the layer manager. Let's go ahead and take a look in the layer manager. So right click, go to layer manager. And now you can see there's all kinds of handy stuff here. You can rename the layers this way if you want to do that. Sometimes you might want to layer, rename the layers something like metal. Oh. You can like rename layers like metal via, you know, channel, etc. So you can do that here in the layer manager. You can also change the fill style, you can change the color. None of this stuff will actually change anything in the data, but it will change how it looks in Layout Editor. And now let's suppose you get a GDS file from somebody where they change the names of these layers, but you want the old layer names back. Well, there's an option here in More Options down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and click that. There's an option down here somewhere. Let's see, Reset Layers. So this will reset the layer names, so then you don't have to go back and change them back again. So go ahead and click Reset Layers if you change the names of these layers. And then let's click OK.